Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Human beings have at last understood that the planet on which they have the privilege of living is their mother, and that the animals for which they have the deepest love and respect are their brothers and sisters. Please watch on for our multi part series on ancient predictions about our planet. Prophecy of the Golden Age, Part 86. The Rosicrucian Prophecies of Unity. Loving viewers, Chumai means high in Welsh. I'm Thomas, the alchemist. The good hearted people of Wales wish for heaven's joy and blessings to shower upon you. Throughout the history of mankind, the divine messages are often shrouded in mystery. Prophets, messiahs, or whichever names you call them, are often persecuted and oppressed, their words obscured. But how do we distinguish the true from the false? To do so, one can only rely on the divine's guidance, and the truth will reveal itself to those who earnestly seek it. As seen in our previous episodes, the Rosicrucian Order predicts that humanity is destined to become an ideal society, in which all of humanity is spiritually oriented and share a higher level of consciousness. Today, we'll explore some more Rosicrucian prophecies and see how Supreme Master Ching Hai has been an inspirational leader. In helping to speed up these positive changes in our world. A universal code of ethics. Human beings will endeavor to express the best of themselves in the interests of each and every person, so that division, competition, and exclusion will definitely give way to unity, cooperation, and sharing. The best is them. Let the one who has should give to the one who don't have. This matter is material or spiritual. That's the way it should be in every world. And we can't change our world, maybe, so we change ourselves, at least our environment, our brothers and sisters. As soon as this world becomes the way we are right now, you know, in terms of material only, our world will never suffer from hunger. And wants or disaster, and even if there's disaster, we should help each other very quickly. That's the system of the universe. The have must give the have not. So that's the only way we can be God. That's the only way that God is, because it's love.、Hmm? There's nothing else except unconditional love in the universe. That is the most important. 
Since her childhood, Supreme Master Ching Hai has always been a natural humanitarian, sharing and caring for others unconditionally, while motivating others, including our association members, to emulate her benevolent example. Master also encourages sharing worldwide by recognizing the good deeds of people through her Shining World Awards and feature programs on Supreme Master Television. In addition, she has made financial donations to thousands of charitable causes of all kinds over the past several decades, thus magnifying their concrete positive effects throughout the planet. Plus more and ongoing. Coincidentally, reports show that there has been a rapid growth in philanthropy across the globe in the past 20 years. In the US alone, charitable giving surpassed record levels in 2007, in 2014, and again in 2017. Global philanthropy sector is growing fast, Harvard study. Charitable giving in the United States reached a record of 306.4 billion US dollars in 2007. The Giving USA Foundation reported. Americans donated an estimated 358.38 billion US dollars to charity in 2014, highest total in reports 60 year history. Total charitable giving rose for the fourth consecutive year in 2017, making 2017 the largest single year for private charitable giving. Philanthropy in China has grown exponentially, with charitable giving growing 20% year-on-year. EU increases its humanitarian assistance, record budget adopted for 2019. India has maintained a strong philanthropic momentum. Funding by individual philanthropists grew the most, by 21% per year, between 2014 and 2018. Etc. Associated for centuries with religion. In once rejected, moral philosophy will return in the form of a code of ethics that will be accepted and practiced all over the world. This code encourages social peace and what some term as living in harmony. Supreme Master Ching Hai has always emphasized a moral code in our association, presenting this ancient way of virtue in a simple and logical manner for modern listeners to understand its importance. This moral code is encapsulated in the five precepts, as Master explained as follows. Very simple, to live a noble life. There are five universal peace principles that is inherent in all religious order of this world. That should be taught by parents and teachers to the children from a young age and all ages, anytime. 
Number one, never harm or kill others, but protect and save lives. Number two, never lie, but always tell the truth. Number three, never steal, but give whatever can to the needy. Number four, never commit sexual misconduct outside your loving partnership. Your wife, your husband, your partner, your life partner. But to honor your relationship with loyalty and love and sincerity. Number five, never use intoxicants, including tobacco, alcohol, and addictive drugs, but contemplate on the holy God quality. These are the secret codes of better progress if you want to be enlightened quickly and without any side effect without disturbance in your mental balance. These are no rules. If you don't kill someone else, there's no rule. If you don't steal, there's no rule. It's just ordinary behavior. Actually, if you think about it, when you drive a car because you want to be free, you want to be fast to be somewhere else, don't you follow any rules? If you drive all over and don't follow the rules, you will be not in freedom, but in jail. So these are the things that help you to go straight to the kingdom of God without entangled somewhere and being obstructed or being in some jail. So therefore, this is true freedom. The universal rules, if we obey, we will find ourselves in a greater freedom than what we imagine freedom should be. Most of us misunderstand. Of the five universal moral principles, the first and foremost tells us not to kill or harm others. This is also called ahimsa, or veganism, and is closely related to this next prophecy. A planetary ecology. After years of mistreating nature, different types of pollution, excessive deforestation, greenhouse gases, destruction of ecosystems, etc., humankind will re-establish a relationship with it and work towards its preservation for the benefit of current and future generations. They will work across borders to make its protection an international cause. Human beings have at last understood that the planet on which they have the privilege of living is their mother, and that the animals for which they have the deepest love and respect are their brothers and sisters. Animals are our brothers and sisters. It's very important we know to live with them harmoniously and respectfully because they are there for some reason. I wish the whole world understand that we have to love and respect the animals and enjoy them just like we enjoy the colorful garden of different flowers and different trees and different fruit, yeah? And above all, they are the same race with us. They are co-inhabitants. They are earthlings. 
they have the right to exist here just as we do. We are not going to take that right from them which has been given by God. Just like God has given us our life. Master not only teaches that animals are our brothers and sisters, she also helps us to experience this through our spiritual practice. As a scientist, I can say that one important aspect of my professional life now is how I see and how I treat animals. By practicing the Kuan Yin method of meditation, I have realized that all animals have souls. Animals have emotions and feelings exactly like us human beings. Therefore, I would never ever imagine doing animal experiments. It's really very light for me to go to work every day knowing that I don't have to use any animals in my research because there are so many alternative methods that I am using on my everyday work. And I thank Supreme Master Ching Hai for all her guidance and teaching and all her insights that she has given to me. I am a human being, and I am a human being, and I am a human being. I am a human being, and I am a human being. And I am a human being, and I am a human being, and I am a human being, and I am a human being. I am a human being, and I am a human being, and I am a human being, and I am a human being, կենթանիները ճիշտ մարդկանց պես են, պարզապես տարբեր կերպարանքներով, այո, տարբեր կերպարանքով, որ գեղեց կացնեն աս աշխարը, ճիշտ ինչպես զանազան ծաղիքները։ Ես կսեցի մտացել դրա մասին, ու այնպես պատահեց, Ես կարթացի գիրքը, մի քանի անգամ։ Եվ կարթալու ընթացքում ինչ-որ բաներ սկսեց փոպոխվելի մեջ։ Ես սկսեցի կենթանների հետ խոս է։ Չիշտ այնպես, ինչպես մարդկանց հետ ես խոսում։ Ես սկսեցի խոսել սկսեցի զգալ նրանց զգացումները։ Եվ այս ամենը երկ է գերագուն ուսչի չինհայի ուսմունքի շնորիվ է։ Այն սովորասնում է մեզ պատվով և սիրով վերաբերվել բոլոր էյակներին։ Աս ուսմունքի շնորիվ է, որ հայտնա� The way we see and treat our animal co-inhabitants is changing. More governments are creating laws to protect them. Six out of ten US adults and half of UK citizens are keen on eating less animal flesh. Global plant-based food sales are skyrocketing and the media declared 2019 the year that veganism went mainstream. etc. While sharing these hopeful visions of the future, the Rosicrucian Order nevertheless warns us. The troubled times that we are crossing constitute a necessary transition which should enable humanity to transcend itself and be reborn, provided it takes on a humanistic and spiritualistic direction. 
If it persists in its thoughtlessness, it will end up largely, if not completely, disappearing. There's also a film from uh, uh, Velez Mitchell. It's called um, Countdown to Year Zero. They count it scientifically with Dr. Rao, the one who, who made the internet possible. A scientist, a brilliant mind in our world. He calculated and counted that we have only six more years, more or less, to fix our problem, our imminent dangerous problem, the climate acceleration. And this will wipe out the whole world, including your children and your grandchildren. If we don't act now, if we don't turn to vegan now, the moral position is to resist this and to end it. People need to know that this is the reality. What's the problem? So we have a system that's based on you know, making money off death, disease, and destruction. It's something that we have never, ever faced before. The, the trees are going up in flames. We have 10 years to turn it around. The Earth is telling us we have to change. Inside of here is my daughter. I want her to have a good planet to live on, not just a planet to live on, because this planet will survive us. This affects everything. That's the only way out that we have. That's the only way out where I see light. Yeah, that's the number one thing you can do to reduce climate change. And I totally recommend it. Yeah, it is historic. In 20, 30 years, you'll have all our friends hitting us up being like, yo, you're a visionary. It is a fight against ignorance and apathy. Moin. The Clock is Ticking, Countdown to Year Zero, a film by Jane Unchanged News, directed by Emmy Award-winning television journalist Jane Velez Mitchell, vegan. Watch now on Amazon Prime Video or visit CountdownToYearZero.com. To conclude, we invite you to work individually and collectively so that our vision of the future may be fulfilled. All the more if you accept the principle of reincarnation, for you will be actors and witnesses to it in a future life. If not, do it for your descendants and for future generations in general. I want our world to be perfect, paradise-like for our innocent children that come after us, and for the innocent, helpless, defenseless, but beautiful, noble souls in the form of animals. We have to protect lives by continuously promoting vegan and sustaining peace through this benevolent process and way of life. This can be done if we are convinced vegan. For the reason of compassion, sustainable peace, sustainable planet, sustainable world, through harmonious lifestyle. So, I am going to ask you beautiful, noble viewers, whatever you are in the society, meaning your position, your ideology, your opinions, your religious belief, just please follow your love in heart. Use all your power within, from your faith, from your master, from your God, use all this to call upon a change call upon for a change, call upon all this power for a change in our world, to make it a vegan world. Because vegan will bring, vegan lifestyle will bring all other benefits to your life, to all lives. Sincere appreciation goes to the Rosicrucian Order 
for taking the time to openly share your prophecies. Your coherent visualization of an advanced and harmonious future is certainly what we all wish to create for our future generations. We are deeply grateful to the visionary Supreme Master Ching Hai for her gentle and patient guidance that began decades ago to prepare humankind for a loftier way of living on Earth. Thanks to her extraordinary love and dedication, our planet's progress has been accelerated and there is ever more hope that our transition to the Golden Age will be successful. May it be so. Thank you, Upright viewers, for joining us today. Don't miss next week's episode introducing the wise Hindu prophecies about our present era. Coming up next is Blessed Saint Roy, Pilgrim of God, Protector of the Sick, Part 1 of 2, right after noteworthy news. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. May heaven bless your kind and noble heart. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash AP. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule et suprememastertv.com bar oblique AP. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule y suprememastertv.com barra inclinada AP. Rancangan kami menawarkan banyak bahasa. Sila kunjungi suprememastertv.com slash kehadapan schedule dan suprememastertv.com slash kehadapan AP.